Did your circumstances change in 2020? Are you thinking that now might be a great time to change where you call home? Is coastal North Carolina at the top of your list? If so, stick around for the top five things you should consider before making a move to the Crystal Coast. Hey y'all, I'm Christy on the Crystal Coast. 2020 shook up how a lot of people are living and working, and I for one can't wait for things to get back to normal. Parties, anyone? Boy, do I miss a good birthday party. But you know what? From the reports that I've been reading, some things are not gonna go back to normal, like working from an office. What many of these companies have found is that their employees are more productive working from home, and the companies themselves are saving lots and lots of money not having to pay out the overhead expenses to keep those offices running. This has created an unprecedented flexibility in where the employees can live, because now you can choose your home based on the lifestyle that you would like to live, rather than having to be in close proximity to an office to go to. Does this happen to be you? Are you one of those lucky ones that has been told that you'll be working from home from now on? Maybe you now want to live somewhere that's close to a beach that you can go fishing in the afternoon after you get off work. Or maybe you just want to live somewhere that has a slower pace of life and maybe a cheaper cost of living. Let's get to the top five things you should consider before making a move to coastal North Carolina. Number one is the weather. Are you up in the Northeast and you are tired of shoveling snow or having to be worried about sliding around on black ice when you go out? What would you say to 60 and 70 degree weather in December and January? Sounds kind of nice, right? Now I will say this is not a guarantee that you are going to have 60 and 70 degree days every day in the winter time. And in fact, it can get quite chilly here. Back in 1989, we woke up to 18 inches of snow on the ground for Christmas day. And uh, once in a lifetime, I think it was a hundred year storm. However, I can guarantee that except for that situation, you can probably hang up your snow shovel when you move down here. The number two thing to consider when you move down to the Crystal Coast are our property taxes and the cost of living. Again, if you are up in the northeast part of the country or Washington DC or even out in California and you're looking for some place to go that you can almost double your lifestyle with the same income, this is probably a good place to consider. With very low property taxes, cheap gas and fairly inexpensive food costs, your quality of life could go up with a move to Eastern North Carolina. Are you ready to live a champagne life? on a beer budget. With very low property taxes, cheap gas, and inexpensive food, your quality of life can take a step up in Eastern North Carolina. For example, if you were to purchase a house in Carter County for about $500,000, and you did so on a mortgage that you put 20% down, your monthly payment, including your mortgage, your interest, your property taxes, and your homeowner's insurance would run you about 2300 to maybe 2600 ish Not to mention, you can then go and fill up your gas tank for around $30 and go out to dinner for two, including drinks at a very nice restaurant for less than $100. And on top of all those savings, you also don't have the need to pay for dry cleaning, taxis, or those expensive salon visits. The number three reason you should consider about moving to the Crystal Coast is the seafood and fishing. If you are a foodie and you love seafood, then this is the place for you. Not only can you get some of the best shellfish in the whole United States, including those amazing Gulf Stream shrimp, but you can also get a huge variety of fish that are caught on a daily basis, just right off of our beaches. Moorhead City has been known as the fisherman's paradise for years and years, and they have a number of charter boats that go out offshore fishing out to the Gulf Stream on a daily basis, where you can catch things like mahi and grouper, or maybe even a trophy sailfish. In addition, we have two piers on the island. We have the Oceana, and we have the Bogue Inlet Pier, which people still fish off on a daily basis. And in the fall, you'll see the island covered with surf fishermen looking for those fish that have been pushed in by the cooler water temperatures. 
And if that's not enough, we have the intercoastal waterway that runs through our sounds where lots of rivers and streams and other little waterways run into the salty water, making the conditions perfect to catch a number of different fish throughout the year. And with all of this fresh seafood available, the restaurants here come up with creative dishes all of the time. But I have to admit, I am pretty partial to the basics. I love a good oyster roast in the wintertime and I will never turn down a shrimp burger at Elle's Drive-In. And the number four reason to consider about the Crystal Coast are fall sunsets. If you are a sunset person like me, I adore sunsets. I don't really see many sunrises. I'm just not an early morning person, but sunsets, ah, the colors are amazing. And due to the unique geographical direction of Bogue Banks, you get to see the sunset into the Atlantic Ocean here in the fall and winter. They are spectacular, especially certain days when the atmospheric conditions are perfect. You see almost every single color of the rainbow up in that sky when the sun is setting. It's a very unique situation as there are only a few other places on the East Coast where you can actually see the sunset into the ocean. And finally, the fifth thing to consider about moving to the Crystal Coast is the slow pace of living, also known as island time. Are you ready to slow your roll and actually have time to enjoy those fall sunsets or spend time with your family frolicking in the ocean or fishing out in the intercoastal waterway? Well, down here, you can escape the expectations of always having to be moving at warp speed and constantly needing to do more, more, more. It's also good to be mentally prepared that everything else is gonna move at a slower pace down here as well. People genuinely want to connect down here and this means stopping and saying hello to your neighbors or having a conversation with the guy in the hardware store. It also means that you sometimes get behind somebody who's going really slow over the Emerald Isle Bridge because they want to take in the spectacular beauty of the marsh and sound, especially at sunset time. The Crystal Coast is a place where you can stop and take a deep breath and really appreciate all that you have. Hope this has helped if you are considering a move to our little slice of paradise. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. If you'd like to get updated, on things to do, places to eat, or more real estate information on the Crystal Coast of North Carolina. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.